Today, we're moving air. We're moving it through a tube to make a stomp rocket, vacuuming it out, turning it into a vortex, and taking it with us underwater. All on this episode of Science Max Experiments at Large. That was amazing. Whoa. So I've joined Chris from Logics Academy and we are maxing out our stomp rocket. To do that, we're gonna use... Larger pipe, more airflow, bigger launch. One, two, three, go! <laughs> that was amazing! In the end, though it worked, it wasn't much better than the smaller rocket. I think we could still do better, right? Oh yeah. This is science max, not science medium. So here's the current plan. An even larger pipe, an even larger rocket, and we use an air mattress. We make two holes in the air mattress, one to fill it up with a leaf blower, and the other hole to go out the tube to the rocket. Since an air mattress holds lots of air and is very easy to change the shape by jumping on it, we figure it'll be a great way to get lots of air through the tube to launch our rocket. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, jump, right? Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, so where were we? Oh, right, our maxed out rocket. A much larger pipe, a large air mattress, and the largest rocket yet. Let's see how it goes. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three. Whoa! Yay! Yeah, All right, let's do it again. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> it works amazingly well. The large volume of air Chris and I can move by both jumping on the air mattress gets transferred through the large pipe, and even though it's a giant rocket, it sails higher than any other version.